what is the optimal engine temperature for best performance on a 602 and 604? And, and do you prefer a low water pressure system like 18 to 22 pounds or a high water pressure system like 30 to 32 pounds? So first start with temperature. Pretty, pretty much any time we dyno, you're, you, I mean, now there's some variances involved here, usually with engine oil, uh, believe it or not. Um, but usually you're, 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 you're gonna produce, your peak power number is around 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So uh, water temperature. Oil temperature, you're probably running anywhere from 40 to 50 degrees hotter than your water temperature is on average. Um, some, some oils start actually losing power pretty drastically once they get around that 240, 250 range. So one of the reasons why I like the clock so much is because it was formulated to run hotter than that. So like where some oils are falling off really bad power wise, because what's happening is the oil's so thin that the lifters are bleeding down in the engine and you're not getting, you know, full valve lift. Okay. Right? Because you so, need a little bit of resistance yeah, in there. Well, I mean, they're bleeding down. So, so like, stuff like the clots, I've seen it where, like, when we tested with John Klotz originally on his oil, we, that was one of our main concerns is, you know, what's it do at, you know, 230 to 280 degrees oil temperature. So we did all that testing, and a lot of the oils that we tested along with his fell off pretty quick where his like carries those power numbers out as the oil temperature increases. Um, I know we're talking about water temperature, but oil temperature has a lot to do. It's directly related to water temperature. Mm -hmm. um, so that being said, uh, what was the second part of the question? Well, and do you prefer a high pressure or a low pressure water high, system? High pressure, absolutely high pressure. Um, I personally ran on my own car uh, for years, I ran the CNR uh, high pressure system, and the higher the pressure, the higher the boiling point. Um, I've won races before with my water temperature gauge literally wrapped around to 300 plus degrees with a high pressure system, and it, it's a it's a enclosed pressure pressurized system. So I mean that that system there probably ran about 60 pounds when it was peaked out peaked out. Wow. And um, so anything you do high pressure, that's what you need to do. High, high, the higher the pressure, higher the boiling point, the longer you can, longer you can race the engine without it losing water. Because what hurts the engines is when they start losing water. Mm -hmm. You lose water, you create steam within the system, and that's what, you know, blows head gaskets or, you know, starts melting heads and stuff like that. Um, now, that CNR system that we ran, like I said, I've run, I've won races, at, you know, with the temperature gauge wrapped around, and never hurt the engine because we never lost any water and we never created steam bottles. Well, I've definitely heard you say before when people ask about optimal water water temperature that, or they worried that they might be overheating. A lot of times you'll ask them the question, "Well, were you pushing water?" So. Well, I mean, so tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's kind of a big deal too. I mean, I got, I got, I mean, the most common call that any of us engine builders get, I don't care who you are, the most common call is, "Hey, my is running hot. What do I do?" Well, how hot's it running? Well, it's running, you know, 250 degrees on my water temperature gauge. Has it? Have you pushed water out of the system? No. In other words, like steam then, coming out of the correct. Where you can see it. So, well, I mean, water. Yeah. So, then I'm like, well then you're not losing water out of the system. Technically, you can run it that hot because you're not gonna hurt the engine, per se. But, you know, obviously you wanna get the temperature cooled back down, so there's, then I give a bunch of advice on how to do that, and blah, blah, blah. But, but definitely, as far as that, that question for that, uh, that you just asked, um, high pressure system. That being said, you need to have a radiator that is built to run high pressure. So don't just randomly put a you know 32 pound cap on a hundred dollar radiator that you bought from I don't know Speedway. Mm -hmm. Don't do that because what's going to happen is as that thing builds pressure because the radiator is not designed for that you're going to expand the uh, tubes and then it's 
it has the opposite effect. Well, you know, and I learned something interesting on the whole tube expansion thing because basically they're little ovals that go through there. Correct. But truthfully, tubing, tubing wants to be round. I don't even know why they don't make them round. I don't know. But what happens with those, uh, with those oval tubes in there, when they do get overheated, then they push and they push and what they end up being is circles. And well, at they, the point that they correct. end up being circles is that then they start touching and then it's blocking it off. It blocks the airflow going yep. through the radiator. Yeah, correct. so I thought that was super interesting. But high pressure system, for sure. Yeah. Just, here's the thing. I mean, you're buying a however many dollar, however much you spent on the engine. Buy the best radiator you can get, and you know, on dirt late models, run a double pass. Do not try to run a triple pass. Triple passes are for for asphalt racing, um, where you've got pretty much forced air intake and everything else. Um, yeah, don't run anything more than a double pass in a dirt late model, or or a modified. I mean, modifieds. If you're racing in the Midwest, run an IMCA. I mean, alcohol cools the engine, so you can get away with a single pass radiator and probably a two blade fan in the middle of summer. You're not going to get away with that here in North Carolina or, you know, Alabama. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. If you're on race gas. <laughs> Good thing to know.